Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. It is the start of our baby vlog. So exciting, I'm so swollen, my face is just like crazy fat. Um, but I did do a little curl on my hair, put on some BB cream just to like feel good about myself. We are doing an induction today. Baby just does not want to come out, unfortunately. But I get it, it's winter, she's warm, so. It is what it is at this point. Hold on, I gotta put my seatbelt on. So they told me that I could eat one more meal before I got to the hospital. So we're gonna go to McDonald's and I'm gonna get my favorite like hangover breakfast meal, which is sausage, biscuits, and gravy, a hash brown. And then I'll probably just get like a sweet tea or something to drink. Um, I know that you're supposed to try and hydrate as best as you can before you get there so that your veins are like nice and flush for the IVs. So yeah start of baby vlog we have everything in the back her car seat pillows um the suitcases back there so yeah the next time that we're in this car coming home there will be a baby in it and that's just crazy so here we go this is the start We are now admitted. The nurse just did all the preliminary stuff. I got my IV catheter put in. She did a check. I am still one and a half centimeters dilated. Um, I'm 70% effaced and she said that I'm negative two station. So she's going to call my doctor and see what she wants the next step to be, but it's probably gonna be the Foley bulb, which is what I'm the most nervous about. Um, so, feeling a little jittery about that, but we're just chilling, about to try and find something on TV, and yeah, I'm not in any pain yet, just kind of settling in and know it's going to be a long ride. We have some incredible news. The nurse came in to do the Foley bulb, and um, she, or the midwife, I'm sorry, and she wanted to check me again before just to like, I guess they have to use their hands to like guide it up there or whatever and come to find out i'm actually four centimeters dilated not one and a half so i don't have to do the fully bulb which was the part i was most scared of so i'm chilling i'm so excited and that just like cut so much time off of the induction which is also great and i feel like we might actually get to meet her today it's 11 16 we got here at nine so we've been here for an, wait three hours and 15 minutes um yeah so we're just watching some tv i'm sitting on the little bouncing ball and bouncing they just started on pitocin um i'm at a one right now i don't feel literally anything um i've been on it for about five minutes i'm sure that will change um she did say though that they'll come in every 30 minutes and bump it up by one so i'm sure once i get up to like three or four maybe is when it'll start to hurt. I don't know. But essentially, my goal is to make it to five centimeters before I get the epidural. Um, if I'm still feeling like this at five centimeters and like not in pain, I'll probably wait to get the epidural even longer than that. Uh, but we're just gonna play it all by ear and stay positive. And so far we're off to a great start, jumping from 1.5 to four. So that is the latest update. All right, you guys, it is six o'clock now. Um, I look a little rough because I've been like laying down. Um, they broke my water and immediately after that m my body just started contracting every 30 seconds and they were like really really strong and I just I died I couldn't do it. Um, my body was shaking my like teeth were chattering I was crying it people who are able to do birth natural have all of my respect because I only did it for 30 minutes and it was really really hard so I did get the epidural um, which is amazing I can move my toes my feet my legs I am using my phone as my light right now but I'm in a stirrup I can move literally everything um, and I have the epidural so and I don't feel any contractions like literally none at all so super awesome um i'm five centimeters and almost she said she wanted to say 100 percent effaced so they're calling the doctor gonna see kind of what she's thinking 
and I'm gonna try and take a little nap because it seems like things are gonna start progressing quickly here so that's where we are I am excited to be comfortable and not miserable and to take a nap it is 8:42 now and I just got checked and my nurse let me know that I am completely effaced and I am basically completely dilated. She said that I'm a nine, but um, I really just have like a little bit of a lip on the left side, just blocking her head. So she is calling the doctor right now and she just like went over how to push with me. Like she like went over practice pushes or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're getting ready to do the final shebang. I could kind of tell because I couldn't feel any of the contractions with my epidural, but now, like, I can feel pain with them just in my back and, like, my butt. TMI, sorry, but, like, that is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous to push just because I've never done that before, and babies are kind of big, vaginas are kind of not, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but, yeah, baby is going to be here probably in the next hour, so... That is crazy and I can't wait to see if they allow me to film um, while I'm pushing I will if I don't insert that footage then unfortunately I just like wasn't allowed but I'm going to do my best to try so next time I film a clip we will be parents so crazy We are in the postpartum mama floor of the hospital now and we have baby and my birth was really really crazy I will do a birth story at some point but I need some time to just like process and heal from it and just it was a lot it was definitely not like the most chill um, but we got our beautiful baby out of it and we are doing great now um, we did have to stay a little longer than we were hoping just because of everything that went down But we are getting ready to be discharged in about Hopefully 10 minutes. I'd say the nurse just came in um, and said she just had some paperwork that we need to sign and stuff and then earlier this morning the pediatrician came and Approved her for discharge and then my OB came in and approved me for discharge So yeah, we are really excited 
Jack has been going home every like five or six hours to let the dogs out and he's really happy to not have to do that anymore. And I'm also just excited for her to meet the dogs too. Oh, goodness. Um, I am just in a bra right now. So once I am like dressed and ready, then I will show you her pretty little self. She weighed eight pounds and two ounces. She's 21 inches long. And she was born at 11.09 p.m., which is so funny because um, we had a 9 a.m. induction and Jack was like, it'd be so cool if she was born at 11.11 .11, and she was born at 11.09 p.m. So it was like literally so close, but just didn't happen. <laughs> so that's okay. Anyways, um, we will see where we are once we get discharged. Currently waiting in the back seat. Um, Jack is getting us sushi right now. I am so excited. I had him get us sushi on day two also because it's just been so long and I eat it so fast. So I was like, can we get sushi again on the way home? He was like, yeah. So he's in, um, I go to this place called Fugu. It's so, so good. If you were in the Pickerington area, it's really good. But I know what everyone cares about baby Vivian when we get home I will show you her up close and her little face but right now she has a little mean mug on her because she's mad she doesn't really like the car too much yet which is fair but she has so much hair just keeping her little ears warm because it's only what 22 degrees outside where we are coming home so we got her all nice and warm and I'm just so excited to introduce her to the dogs. Like, I can't wait. But yeah, anyways, that is going to be where I end our labor and delivery vlog. And then um, starting now, I'll say we will do the first 24 hours home with a newborn. And in that one, you'll get to see her meet our pups and just kind of see our house where she lives now. And it's going to be our first time... Uh, actually dealing with her overnight because luckily where we are our hospital has a nursery where they take them overnight um so we were able to sleep six hours our first night and our second night so tonight will be the first night that we are on our own so i'm a little nervous but i think that it'll be okay so if you are interested in that make sure you stay tuned and are subscribed that way you can stay up to date when that goes live and like this video if you enjoyed it we are just over the moon and so excited to share this new journey of our life bye guys